Hello, I'm Edward Tart, a math teacher. I'm going to present a math lesson culminating in a challenge, and there is a prize available. You may want pencil and paper handy during this lesson. If you want to, you can pause now and get pencil and paper. This lesson is about a special pattern of numbers, numbers arranged in the form of a triangle. It's called Pascal's Triangle. It was invented by the French mathematician Blaise Pascal. We will be putting numbers in these boxes. Uh, we have at the top one box, then rows of two, three, four, five, six, and seven numbers, and then indefinitely below that. I'm going to put a one in the top box. And now you see these little paths from one box to another. Some of the paths moving to the left, others moving to the right. The plan is to fill each box with the number of ways to get to that box following those paths downward from the top. For example, consider this box, this location. How many ways are there to get to it from the top? Well, there's exactly one way. That one way is to veer left every step of the way. Consider this location. How many ways are there to get to, to it? Exactly one way. Namely, from the top veering to the right every step of the way. In fact, I realize that I must put a one in every box along the left edge and also in every box along the right edge. And so on indefinitely. Now we have to consider interior boxes. This one. How many ways are there to get from the top to this location? There are two ways. Left then right. The other way, right then left. Now consider this location. There are two gateways to this location. They are this location and this one. One way to get there, two ways to get there. So there must be three ways to get here. And now we see the key. One plus two is three. We add the two numbers above it. The one slightly to the left, the other slightly to the right. And that will give us the correct number here. For this one, two plus one is 3. Coming to the next row, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4. Next row, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5. Next row, 1 plus 5 is 6, 5 plus 10 is 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is 6. And so on indefinitely. There are many patterns in Pascal's triangle, uh, many more patterns than I am aware of. Uh, we do notice that each row reads the same in both directions. For example, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. That's left to right, right to left. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. 
Now, leading up to your challenge, in another video, I had a brief lesson on square numbers. Numbers gotten by multiplying a counting number by itself. And a list of square numbers can be formed in this way. 1 squared, that, that means 1 times 1 is 1. 2 squared meaning 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100. And so on indefinitely. Can we find a list of square numbers, these black numbers here, in Pascal's triangle? No, we can't. But there is a list of these square numbers hidden in Pascal's triangle. That is, there is a way to get them very easily from numbers that are in Pascal's triangle. And that's your challenge. Find that way of getting square numbers from Pascal's triangle and explain why it works. Explain it geometrically. Uh, geometrically, oh, the square numbers can be expressed, can be explained geometrically, described geometrically. For example, 5 squared equals 25 can be described geometrically as a square of 25 objects ranged in rows and columns, a 5 by 5 square. So what I want is a geometric explanation of how to get square numbers from Pascal's triangle. What I suggest you do is that you write out a few more rows of Pascal's triangle beyond the row that I showed here. It does go on indefinitely as square numbers go on indefinitely. If you figure this out, do not post your reply in the comment section of this video, please. Instead, go to my profile page, click on send message, and message me your response. If I like it and think it's right, you'll be eligible for a prize, as in my other math videos. I play the piano, as is evident from my music videos. You can have as your prize an audio file of me playing a selection on my piano. If you want the prize, you will need to include your email address. If you need help deciding whether you want the prize, you can click on the link at the bottom of this video and watch one or more of my piano videos. In any event, I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson and that if you choose to work on the challenge, you will enjoy that also. Thank you for watching this video.